Hey, beautiful people. Today, I just want to talk about reading with understanding, reading with comprehension, because there's no point in reading if you don't have comprehension. And I see that's a problem with a lot of people today. And not only are they wrapped up in people's doctrine, most people can't read. And it's not that they can read. They can read like, hi, how are you? What are you doing today? But they cannot comprehend. The problem is not reading with the people of today. The problem is comprehension. Many people have can read, but they don't have comprehension because the Bible is not made for any private interpretation. If you don't understand the Bible, it's because you lack the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of it. You understand? And another thing, people read the Bible very carnally. They don't even understand a metaphor or a simile. They don't even understand pertaining to when God compares something or says it. I know one person who thinks the salt of the earth literally means the salt. You understand? I So when it's talking about being the light of the world, it's talking about letting your spiritual light shine of your good works. Because the more good works you do, the more time you spend with God, the more you read, the more you fast, the more you pray, the more your spiritual light gleams. Happy New Year to you. And you, your light gleams even brighter. So we got to understand that we got a lot of crazy people out here with crazy doctrine and foolish perceptions and thinking, and they don't understand the Bible. And they're reading without comprehension. And as I said, there's no point in reading if you don't have comprehension. That's just letting things, something go from one ear and out the other, straight up. And people teach this Bible very carnally because they teach it as a physical book when the Bible is a spiritual book, which I always say, and it's a living book, all right? It's very much alive. It's very much living. But people take the words in the Bible as physical texts. They don't even understand the difference in the Bible when it's talking about something spiritual and something physical. And I will, if you watch more of my videos and if you're new to this channel, you need to work your way up to the knowledge. You need to start from the beginning to get up to where we're at right now. Because if you just came, you know, there's a lot of things that I will talk about that you won't understand. But of a truth, the Bible talks about a lot of spiritual things like being the light of the world. It's talking about the spiritual light that follows people who do good works. But people think it's light. You get me? The Bible talks about physical things and spiritual things, but it's a spiritual book. It talks about this, um, the lion and adder in Psalms 91. People don't even know that the spirit of lion and the spirit of adder, those are evil spirits. They don't even understand that. Tread on the scorpion, tread on the lion and the adder in Psalms 91. That's talking about evil spirits. The evil spirit lying and adder from the kingdom of darkness. People don't know that. When David says, deliver me and save me from the power of the dog, that's talking about the spirit of the dog, an evil spirit that comes from the kingdom of Marie. Look this stuff up. But people, as I'm going to tell you one more time, they read without comprehension. When they see dog in the Bible, they think it's a puppy, a dog walking on the street. But there is actually a part where the Bible talks to you about physical dogs. It tells you beware of dogs. Beware of evil workers. Beware of concession. As I told you, many people who have dogs use them as their familiar spirits. And that's how they connect with Satan and demons. And that's how they get their assignments and operations to hurt people. So... <laughs> It's very, like, there's so much we can discuss about the Bible and the meaning and the interpretation of it, which is not hard to interpret at all, because it's not of any private interpretation. The only problem is, if you haven't been taught about the spiritual, how are you going to understand? You're only going to know what you've been taught, which is the physical realm. Why do you think they don't teach about supernatural things in school? You know? They only teach you carnal things, physical things, so your mind will only function one way. You'll only think one way. You'll only think in the spirit. You'll only think in the carnal. Your mind will never grasp the physical. And that's sad because everything 
starts from the spiritual. All right? So that is the actual real knowledge. That is the actual truth, is the spiritual realm. Yeah. And I just like to tell you that people need to start learning about the spiritual realm and need to start learning spiritual laws. All right? They really do because a lot of people are in bondage just because they break spiritual laws every day, but they're unaware. And so it's just my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge and also say they grope at noonday. Why? And they grope in darkness as in the noon 